Alrighty, <laughs> here we are in class. Welcome to Radiant Body Flow. Um, we will start seated today. So if you have something that you like to sit up on that helps you get more comfortable in your body in a comfortable seat, then feel free to use that cushion, yoga block, anything like that. If you prefer to be kneeling, you could be kneeling as well. All right. So sit up nice and tall through your spine, feel a nice lift of your chest, relax through your shoulders. And let's just rest the hands either down on the thighs or they could be in the lap here. And just taking a few moments to settle into our body, to let the mind become quiet, to draw our focus inward, to connect to our body, to the practice and to breath. So right now, just draw your attention away from any external distractions or from any thoughts that might be going on. And see if you can just tune into your breath's movement within your body. And just start to follow that breath on the inhale and the exhale, just breathing in and out of the nose. And then see if you can even begin to slow the breathing down even more. So taking a longer, slower inhale through the nose. And match that slow exhale out of the nose. Just a couple more of those. So again, just noticing where the mind is at. If it's still in an active place, see if you can just draw your entire focus to the breath right now. Noticing what effects that brings to you by focusing on your breath. Calming down from any anxious energy or excitable energy and just getting into a nice, relaxed, centered place within. It's keeping your eyes closed, I'd just like you to bring your hands to your knees now with the palms facing up. So it's just a hand placement or mudra that is more of a receptive. It's known as receptive mudra. So it just offers you to be open, open to experience, open to receive. And keeping this placement in a nice tall spine, we'll move into a breath practice called breath of light. This breath is done by taking seven small sniffs in through the nose. And each time you take a little sniff in the nose, you're going to pull that breath, energy, and light up your body. We're moving through the seven different main energy channels in the body known as our chakras. Once you come to that seventh inhale, should be right around the third eye and crown, top of the head. You're going to hold the breath as long as you feel comfortable pausing the breath at the top and just feeling that elevation of light up there. And then a very slow exhale through the nose, letting the breath release all the way back down the body. Okay, so it's seven sniffs in, a hold of the breath at the top, and then an exhale out. Breath is in and out of the nose. So let's begin together, taking seven sniffs in. And then pausing the breath, but trying to stay relaxed, just feeling a little suspension of the breath, holding that light and energy up. And as slowly as you can, exhale the breath out of the nose and feel that breath moving all the way back down your body. And again, seven sniffs in. Pausing the breath at the top, again, just feeling that you've drawn the energy, light, and positivity up your body. Slowly exhale through the nose, releasing the breath back down the body. Seven sniffs in. Pausing at the top, stay relaxed. Slowly exhale through the nose. And now I'd like you to just keep going with this, moving at your own pace, your seven sniffs in, really following each breath in, moving up the body. Feel that you're drawing a sense of lightness, positivity up the body. 
As you pause at the top, you're holding that sense of light right up between the brows, a third eye point. And then when you are ready to exhale, just a very slow release of the breath back down. Practice keeping your mind engaged completely on this breath practice here for just a few more rounds. And I'd like you just to move through one more round of that full breath sequence. Once you've completed that last exhale, just return to a regulated breath, an equal inhale and exhale in and out of the nose. Stay focused inward, the eyes closed, and just feel the effects of that breath practice for you. Noticing any lightning energy, and lightning energy or lightening up within your body. Be a sense of positivity to your mood. A clearing and releasing of any heavy energies or negativity. <clears throat> All right, and then go ahead and open up your eyes. <clears throat> Excuse me, clear my throat here. And we're going to begin moving our body a bit. So you'll keep your hands on your knees. Now, at any point, you can come off your cushion if you prefer to be grounded through your seat. If the cushion gives you more comfort, then you can stay there. <laughs> All right. With the hands on the knees, as you inhale, pull your body forward. And as you exhale, circle all the way around. We're gonna keep this going. Inhale, circling forward and exhaling back and around. So we're bringing some movement into our hips, into our low back, maybe even into the upper body a bit. Creating a moving meditation by moving the breath and movement together. This helps us just to loosen up tension in the body, but also start to awaken any stagnant energy within our energetic body. See if you can fully coordinate breath and movement together. Nice, let's go ahead and move in the opposite direction. Reversing the circle, but just keeping that steady rhythm, pace of movement connected to your breath. Just observing where you might feel stuck seeing if you can create a little more fluidity to your body to the breath all right and then pull yourself up nice and tall through the spine again you'll keep your hands on your knees <clears throat> as you inhale use the arms to pull the chest forward stretch out through the spine and then exhale curl and round tucking the belly and the chin and so feeling a stretch to the back inhale pull forward opening up the chest through shoulders and then exhale curl and round and we'll just keep going like this for a few more inhaling forward and exhaling back and you can move at any pace you want keeping it slow if you like or getting a little quicker if that feels better and then just continuing to create some mobility in the physical body and just get that breath moving within. Good, one more here. 
and then coming back to neutral, lifting up tall. Now we're going to kind of repeat these movements, but add some arms in. So the arms are going to open up nice and wide, fingers spread apart a bit. And as you inhale, we're going to feel that we're lifting and opening the chest, drawing the arms back any amount. And then exhale, kind of like that curl and round again, bringing the hands almost a touch. Tuck the belly and the chin in. And as you inhale, you'll lift up, draw the arms back as wide as you can, and then exhale, curl and round again. Again, coordinating breath with movement, inhaling to lift and open, and exhaling, curl and round. Nice big breaths here. So as we open up, we're really opening up the chest, shoulders, heart. And as you exhale and round, you're stretching up the spine. Three more here. Nice. The last one. Big, big breath with this movement. Sit up tall, bringing the arms open wide. Bring your hands up to your shoulders now. Keep the elbows open. Feel the opening of the chest and a tall spine. As you inhale, you're going to twist to the left. And as you exhale, you're going to twist to the right. Inhaling left and exhaling right. Try to keep the elbows open wide, the head nice and steady on the spine. This movement is coming into the spine and the waist. Coordinating breath and movement, and again, keeping any pace that feels good for you. As we start to loosen up the spine a bit, and getting this uh, detox, rinsing action into our solar plexus, navel, Helps to create an internal detox and massaging of our organs. Just a few more. Good. Come back to center. Keep the position. Take a deep breath in, lifting up tall. And then exhale, release the hands down to the knees, relaxing through the shoulders, but staying lifted through the spine and the chest. Good. Now we're just going to roll our shoulders up and back. So inhaling, shoulders up, and exhale, down and back. Inhale up, exhale, back and down. Two more like that. So loosening up neck and shoulder area. And then opposite direction, up and forward. Moving with the breath. Good. And then sit up nice and tall again. Let's draw the chin down into the chest and begin rolling your head around to the right. Full circle, unless that bothers your neck. And then you could just maybe do half circles. Move as slowly as you need, as gently as you need, and just a very gentle breath as well. And let's go ahead and move in the opposite direction. And then go ahead and come back to a tall spine, lift up through the head. Just close your eyes for a moment and just feel that length coming from the very base of your spine all the way up the entire spine through the neck and out the crown of the head. Take a couple breaths here and just observing with all these movements we did and moving with the breath, if you feel any changes within your physical body or that energy within, breathe deeply. We're going to get a little more energized here before we get moving our body into some flow. We're going to bring the arms up to a V now. Keep the shoulders drawn down the back and really feel that you're supporting your arms with the strength of your lat muscles in your back. So face your hands forward and spread the fingers wide, almost like you're creating a jazz hand. The palms facing me. Yeah, there you go. And then we'll take an inhale when we're here. As you exhale, we're going to exhale through the teeth, making a shh, a strong shh sound. And as you do, you're going to make a fist and strike the fist by the sides of the body here. So a nice, powerful movement. And as you inhale through the nose, arms up, and exhale down. Shh, 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 shh. That's it. Nice, powerful.
powerful action here. So this helps to awaken the energy more within. This is really great to circulate, cleanse, and clear our lymphatic system. So if you're feeling any congestion in the upper body, this is good for that. We're strengthening our spine and our arms, coordinating breath with movement. And then two more options. You can either close the eyes while you're doing this, or you could bring the head up and down with the hands if that's okay for your neck. So I'll leave that up to you. Make sure you're inhaling through the nose and exhaling strongly through the teeth. Shh, 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 shh. Keep it going. This particular movement, not only are we awakening deep, deep, energetic level here, but challenging ourselves that when we feel the fatigue within our body, when our body tells us we need to stop, that we find that inner strength to conquer what the mind is telling us, feeling that this energy within us is continuing to move our arms here. Shh, 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 shh. Keep it up. That also helps us to bring this into our life the same way that whenever we're met with challenges or uncomfortable situations, that we can find a peaceful way to move through those challenges or discomfort. Just a bit more. All right, next inhale, stretch up, spread the fingers wide, hold the breath at the top, just hold, hold, hold. And then as you exhale, slowly open the arms wide, feel like you're cleansing the energy around you. Bring your hands to your knees, palms facing up, back to that receptive mudra. Close your eyes and just feel the lift of the spine, the lift of the chest, relax through the shoulders, breathe deeply here. Maybe just feeling any little tingling sensation you might feel within your body, that awakened energy within, breathe deeply. If there's any tension you're feeling, just allow the breath to let that dissolve out of your body. All right, good. Let's come around onto hands and knees now into a tabletop position. And if you need any cushion underneath your knees, feel free to place a towel, blanket, or cushion underneath your knees. Once you're on your hands and knees, separate the knees so they're about hip distance apart. Place your hands directly underneath your shoulders. Spread the fingers apart a bit here and really press into the fingers and that'll help support the wrists. Gaze right down at the mat and feel the length of the spine and through the neck. And then start to press down through the arms, seeing that if you can pull your chest in a little bit, strengthening the upper body. Draw the low belly in, supporting this low back here. And now with your inhale, cow pose. Lift your chest, let the low belly drop, the low back sway a bit. Exhale into cat, tuck the belly, tuck the chin, round the upper back. Good, let's keep going with a few more, moving with breath. Each inhale, lift up and open. And exhale, curl and round. And just move at your own pace for a few more. Again, creating that moving meditation, coordination of breath and movement. Noticing when your mind wants to wander and just drawing your mind back to this moment. Nice, one more full round. And then coming back to a neutral spine. Now open up the right arm to the ceiling and if this is too much for your shoulder, you could place your hand to the hip instead and really widen the chest, feel a bit of rotation into your spine. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, thread the needle. Right arm moves underneath the body. Rest down on the right shoulder and the side of your head, all the way down on the ground. And then you can put as much pressure as you want into your left hand to try to open up the top shoulder more and bring your chest towards ceiling. And if you want to take it a step further, you can reach the left arm up, bend the elbow, and then wrap your arm around your low back towards the opposite hip into a half bind. Nice. And then continue gently opening up the chest more. Breathe deeply into your body. Good.
And one more deep breath here. And then unwind from your twist, pressing left hand back down. Open up the right arm to the ceiling with a deep inhale. And exhale, lower the right hand. We'll switch this out. Open the left arm. Take a little pause here. Again, hand can be to hip or ceiling. And see if you can draw the chest open a little wider. Keep the low belly drawn in. Good. Deep breath in. Exhale, thread the needle. Left arm sweeps under the body. Rest all the way down on your left shoulder and the side of your head. Gently press into the right hand to open the chest to the ceiling more. And then you can take that half bind if you did other side. Reach the arm up and around your back towards the opposite hip. And then just keep breathing as you gently open up the chest more, feeling this opening to the spine and shoulders. Make sure your breath is steady and fluid. One more breath here. And then unwind, placing right hand back down to the ground. Open the left arm back to the ceiling, taking a deep inhale as you open up. Exhale, lower the left hand back down to the ground. Let's walk into a puppy dog, keeping the hips where they're at. Walk your arms and upper body forward. Get as close as you can to the mat. Maybe the forehead meets the mat. Feel free to keep a slight bend of the elbows, keeping your body slightly lifted as needed. Otherwise, just find this deep opening into the chest, the shoulders, and the heart. This is known as anahatasana, or heart opening pose. And bring those deep, deep breaths back into your body. Full inhales, full exhales. Notice if you resist a pose, if the breath becomes tense, and see if you can just let go here. Allow the body to open up. Nice, one more round of breath. And then let's just slide the elbows back. So we're on our forearms now. The elbows are right underneath the shoulders here. Press strong through the arms to pull the chest away from the mat. And let's step both feet back into a forearm plank. So getting some strength into the body right away. So the feet at the back of the mat, lift the hips, lift the thighs, lift the chest, draw the navel in deeply, press strong through the arms. If at any point you need a little support, you can just drop the knees to the ground, but keeping the belly in, keeping the arms strong. Use those deep, strong, powerful breaths here to maintain the posture, to feel that inner strength and power. Two more breaths. Each exhale, draw the navel in a little deeper. Just one more breath. Then keeping the chest up, slowly lower your hips all the way to the ground, then release the tops of the feet to the mat, and then pull the chest forward and up. So hips are all the way down. We're in a sphinx pose here, feeling this opening into the low back. And if it's too much, you can walk the elbows farther forward. Otherwise, the elbows can stay back under shoulders. Keeping the strength of the arms, breathing into the low back. Draw your chin down into your chest and just let your head hang nice and heavy and feel a nice release into the back of the neck, those upper trapezius muscles. If it feels nice, you can even start swaying the head side to side, getting the sides of the neck. Keep the strength of the arms, low belly pulled in, but head nice and heavy. One more breath here. And then go ahead and lower all the way down to your chest and forehead. Slide the hands directly under the shoulders now. Pressing the hands firm into the mat. Squeeze your elbows by the sides of your body and feel the strength of the arms. Keep the low belly drawn in and press into the tops of the feet into the mat. And as you inhale, peel your chest forward and up into a cobra pose, using the strength of the arms to lift the body up. And then as you exhale, slowly lower back down. We're going to do a few of these in repetition. Use the arms. Inhale, peel the chest up and back. Keep hugging elbows by the ribs as you do. And exhale, lower down. 
Nice. Two more times. Inhale, peel up, keeping the back of the neck long. And exhale, lower down. Last one. Inhale, press up. And now as you exhale, tuck your back toes. Use the arm and belly strength to lift your hips up and back and move into a downward facing dog. Nice. Pressing the hips back to stretch open the legs. Press through the arms to move your chest towards your thighs and feel that deep opening into the chest and shoulders again. Relax your neck completely. Even shake the head a little bit here. Feel a nice energy of the heels pressing towards the mat, even if they don't touch. Two more deep breaths here. One more breath. Walk your feet all the way to the top of the mat and come into a standing forward fold. Separate your feet about hip distance apart. Grab opposite elbows and let your body hang forward into ragdoll. Relax the head and the neck completely here. And if you're feeling tension in the body or the body is high up, you can bend the knees any amount. Feel this opening to the backs of the legs, the release into the spine. And if it feels nice, you can do some gentle sways side to side. And one more round of breath here. Release the arms back down to the mat. Take a deeper bend to your knees, then tuck your chin into your chest. Let's take a slow roll up through the spine, moving one vertebra at a time. Once you're up, sweep the arms all the way up overhead, bringing the palms to touch, and then draw the hands at the heart center. Once the hands meet the heart, let the elbows open wide, the shoulders relax down the spine. Steady focus for the eyes, and just feel nice, strong, equal weight in your feet. A little firm up of the thighs, the navel in, and a lift of the chest. Take a deep inhale and a deep exhale. Next inhale, sweep your arms up overhead so the hands are facing towards each other. The shoulders stay down. Then exhale, take a cactus arm. Draw the elbows back and together and feel that nice opening widening through the chest again. Let's do two more of those. Inhale, reach the arms back up. Exhale, elbows draw back in together, feeling the shoulder blades hug together. And one more time, inhale, arms up. And exhale, elbows back in together. Lift the chest just a bit more. Inhale, arms up, this time bringing palms to touch overhead. And exhale, fold back forward, releasing through the spine and the neck. This inhale, come halfway up, press against the front of the legs to lengthen your spine, pulling chest forward. And then exhale, step into a high plank now. Hands at the top of the mat, feet at the back of the mat. We're bringing our body back into that strong strength within. Navel in, firm up the legs, press through the arms, pressing your chest away from mat. Keep the back of the neck long, holding and breathing. And again, as needed, you could always drop the knees to the mat. Nice. For this first Chaturanga Dandasana, lower the knees to the ground. Keep the belly engaged. Now that same feeling of hugging the elbows by the ribs, slowly lower your body towards the ground. Squeezing elbows by the ribs, belly in. Now flip the tops of the feet. Inhale, use the arms to press back up to that cobra, lifting the chest. As you exhale, tuck your toes under, belly in. Press all the way back to downward facing dog. Breathe deeply here. One more round of breath. Good. Look to the top of the mat. You can walk your feet forward or maybe do a little hop back into your forward fold. Next, inhale, lengthen your spine. Come to a halfway lift. And exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise up, sweeping the arms overhead. Bring your palms to touch. And exhale, hands at the heart. So we're going to move through that sequence two more times that we just did, creating a little breath to movement flow. Inhale, sweep the arms up so the hands are facing each other. And exhale, a cactus arm. Draw the elbows back. Lift and open up the chest. Inhale, arms up so the palms meet. <clears throat> and exhale, fold forward here. All the way back down. Inhale, lengthen, come to a halfway lift. 
And exhale, step to your high plank, take a pause. Belly in, strong arms and legs. Now your knees can lower, or you could try keeping them lifted. Take an inhale, and then exhale, slowly lower to the mat, hugging elbows by the ribs, belly in. Flip your feet, inhale, use the arms to lift your chest. So you want to lower your chest all the way down to ground there. When we lower, bend the elbows, bring your forehead and chest to the mat. Now inhale, lift just the chest for your cobra. And then exhale, tuck your toes and press back to downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Again, inhale, look to the top of the mat. As you exhale, you can walk or hop yourself back into your forward fold. Inhale, come halfway up, lengthen out your spine. And exhale, release forward. Inhale, stand all the way up. Bring your palms to touch overhead. And exhale, hands at the heart center. So we'll move through this one more time. Inhale, sweep your arms up. The hands face each other. And exhale, cactus arm, draw the elbows back, lift and open chest. Inhale, arms up, bringing your palms to touch. Exhale, fold forward, release the body at the bottom. Inhale, halfway lift, press against the legs. Exhale, high plank, step the feet back, strong arms. Take a breath in, and as you exhale, lower all the way down, including the forehead and the chest, all the way to the mat. Nice. Inhale, use the arms to lift just the chest, cobra. And then belly in, tuck the toes. Exhale, press back to downward facing dog. Breathe deeply here. Relax your jaw and your neck. One more round of breath. Good. Now we'll lift the right leg up towards the ceiling, nice and slow. And then step the right foot all the way forward between the hands. Lower your back knee down to the mat as we come into a deep lunge. Again, any cushion you want under your knees, feel free to place anything you want there. We want to align the right knee over the right heel. Drop the back knee to the mat. Give a little squeeze together of the inner thighs and sweep the arms up. So for stability, we're pressing firm into the feet, hugging the inner thighs together and drawing the low belly in. As you inhale, I want you to press into that front foot and pull the hips back a little bit. And then as you exhale, deepen the bend of the front knee again and draw the elbows back and together, the cactus arm. At the same time as you deepen the hips, the elbows bend. Then as you inhale, arms rise as you pull the hips back again, feeling the strength of the legs. And then exhale, deepen the lunge as you draw the elbows back and together. Moving with breath, two more. Inhale, rise up, lift the arms. Exhale, deepen the lunge, elbows back. And last round, inhale, rise up, lift the arms. And exhale, come into a deep lunge with the elbows bent. Nice, now keep the deep lunge here. Inhale, just the arms up to the ceiling. Hold here and breathe. Shoulders down the spine, allow the hips to open. Stay lifted through the chest. Use your breath, one more breath here. And then release the hands down to the mat. Shift your hips back and straighten just your front leg. We move into a half split, working into the right hamstring. And if it feels better to be higher in the upper body, place your hands on blocks or maybe on the front shin. So you can really get some length into the right hamstring. Relax your neck and your jaw and just breathe deeply. Use your breath to dissolve tension or discomfort you're feeling right now. And keeping the mind fully present here in this practice, connected to your breath and body. Two more breaths. Let go of any tension in the neck or jaw. Nice. Rebend your front knee, shifting back into the lunge. Plant strong through both hands and then open, uh, excuse me, first tuck your back toes and lift your back knee off the mat now. Once that back knee is lifted, I want you to firm up your left thigh, 
drive some energy out the back heel. And now we open the right arm to the ceiling. So we're coming back into a nice wide twist. Keep the left arm strong. Keep both legs strong and widen the chest as much as you can. Breathe deeply. Another option could be to take the half bind by wrapping the top arm around your back towards the opposite hip and opening that top shoulder again. Two more breaths. Last breath. And then release the right hand back to the ground. Your choice. If you like use working with the chaturangas, you can step to high plank and we'll take that lowering to the ground. Or you can go directly to down dog and skip it. Otherwise, keeping belly and arms strong as you lower. Moving with the breath and all the way back to down dog. Breathe deeply here. Keeping the arms nice and strong as you inhale, lift your left leg to the ceiling. And then exhale, step the left foot all the way through your hands, between the hands, and you'll drop your back knee down to the ground again. Making sure that left knee is right over the left heel. Hips are driving forward. Feel a little squeeze of the inner thighs together and then lift the body and the arms up. So again, to feel that stability, press strong into the front and back foot. Keep the inner thighs hugging and the navel in. Now, as you inhale, you're going to come out of the lunge a bit, pressing into front foot to pull the hips back. And then as you exhale, deepen the lunge as you bend your elbows, pulling elbows back together and deepening into the hips. Again, as you inhale, come out of the lunge, lift the arms up. And exhale, bend deeper as you draw the elbows back and together. Moving with your breath for two more. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, deepen. Nice. Last one. Inhale, rise up. And exhale, deepen. Now hold that nice deep lunge into the hips. As you inhale, just lift the arms up and then stay for a couple more breaths. Deep breaths in and out of the nose. Feeling the opening of the hips, the strength of the legs, the breath moving through your body. One more breath here. And then release your hands down to your mat. Shift your hips back and straighten out your front leg. We come back into this half split, getting the left hamstring now. And again, if it feels better in your body, you could place your hands to your front shin, keeping the body lifted more. Or finding the range that works for you. Relax your neck. Soften your jaw. Just focus on your breath, moving through any discomfort or tension, dissolving that. A softening with each exhale. One more breath here. And then go ahead and shift back into your lunge, planting the hands around your front foot again. Tuck your back toes under and lift your back knee off the mat. So right knee lifts. You want to firm up the right thigh, press out through the back heel. Keeping right hand down, open your left arm. Widen your chest, feel the rotation of the spine. Stay strong through the right arm. Breathe deeply. Always have that option of the half bind if you did it other side. Continuing to open the chest and shoulder. One more breath here. And then release your left hand back down to the mat. You can step directly to downward facing dog or move through that chaturanga flow, high to low plank, through the cobra and back to down dog and then really stretch your body out in down dog strong arms and legs breathe deeply here one more round of breath again look to the top of the mat walk or hop yourself into your forward fold next inhale come halfway up again pressing against the legs lengthening the spine and exhale, fold forward. 
Inhale, stand up, sweeping the arms all the way up overhead. Bring your palms to touch. And exhale, hands at the heart center. Take a little pause here. Relax the shoulders. Get strong through the legs and the feet and feel a nice lift through the chest. Breathe deeply. Okay, we're going to do a little standing kriya, a repetitive movement here for a few rounds. Again, get this elevated energy and a little strength in the body. This is also called breath of light, but we're moving and using action. So keeping your legs grounded as you are, the feet can be apart or together. Now the first inhale, the arms are going to reach straight forward, straight out in front of the shoulders. You can stay as you were. You don't have to turn at all. I'm just doing this to see me. As long as you can see me. That's the first inhale. The second inhale, the arms open wide. The third inhale, arms come up overhead. And the exhale, we come into a chair pose with airplane arms. So bend the knees, sweep the arms down and back. Now we want to squeeze the arms together behind, feeling the shoulder blades hug. In a chair pose, our weight is deeply into the heels, feeling glutes, low belly in, and the chest and shoulders are open. So those are the movements here. So first inhale, stand up, arms straight forward. Second inhale, arms open. And third inhale, arms up. And then exhale, bend the knees, sweep the arms back for chair. Again, inhale, stand up. Inhale, arms open. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, chair, arms back. Good. Inhale, arms forward. Inhale, arms open. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, chair, arms back. We're going to keep this going. Inhale, forward. Inhale, open. Inhale, up. Exhale, chair. Inhale, forward. Inhale, open. Inhale, up. Exhale, chair. Inhale, forward. Inhale, open. Inhale, up. Exhale, chair. And uh, inhale, inhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, 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 exhale. Three more, inhale, 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 exhale. Inhale, 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 exhale. Inhale, 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 exhale, stay. Now we're in our deep chair. We're feeling our legs strong. Pull the arms back and together, opening up the chest. Keep the back of the neck long, gazes slightly forward, and just breathe deeply. So feeling the strength in the legs, nice open chest. Two more breaths here. One more breath. And then release into your forward fold. Stretch out the spine. Relax the neck. Deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Separate your feet to about the edges of the mat. Nice and wide stance. Turn the toes out. And start to bend your knees and come into a nice deep squat. Malasana frog pose. See if you can keep the heels on the ground. So even if the hips don't go super low, you might stay higher. Your hands can either be on the ground or come up at the heart, pressing the palms together. You're actively pressing the thighs open, using the inner thigh strength, and you're actively lifting your chest as much as you can, pulling the shoulder blades down the spine. Your elbows can also help press against the inner thighs to open up. Now deep, deep breaths here. Steady focus, steady breath. Let tension dissolve and just feel a nice calm strength within supporting you here. Two more breaths. One more breath. Nice. Release the hands, straighten the legs again. Let's bring the feet all the way back, either hip distance or together. As you inhale, let's come to that halfway lift by pressing against the legs. And then exhale your choice. Either step right to downward facing dog, or if you want to continue through a flow, you can take that lower chaturanga dandasana. We meet in a downward facing dog. Breathe deeply here. Relax your neck and just take a couple calming breaths here. Strong arms and legs. And lift the right leg back up to the ceiling. 
step the right foot forward between the hands again. This time you're going to bring the back foot as close as you need to the front foot so you can place your heel on the ground. The toes will be on a slight angle to the left. Keep a deep bend in the front knee, tucking the right hip back. So you want to adjust your stance so that your hips can point straight to the top of your mat and then slowly rise up, lifting the arms and chest to the ceiling. So this warrior one, back heel on the ground. You might need to angle your toes a little more to the left in order to keep the heel down. And then you're gonna stand up, lifting the arms and chest. Try to face your body to the top of your mat rather than the side of your mat. Nice, and as you feel that strong energy in the back heel into the mat, see if you can deepen the bend in the front knee any amount. Try to pull your left hip forward a bit more, pull the right hip back a bit more, that's it. Now open the arms out wide, bring the arms all the way behind you and interlace your fingers together. If that's not accessible, you can use something as a strap or the hands could just rest to low back if needed. As you inhale, start to open the chest more, lift the chest as the arms pull back, and then exhale, bend forward into humble warriors, keeping the legs as you are, bring your chest towards your right thigh, move the arms overhead any amount, relax your neck at the bottom here, beautiful, breathe deeply, beautiful posture of feeling this humility, a humble nature as we bow forward, but at the same time, such a strength within that. Keep the breath flowing. One more breath here. First, just release your hands down to the ground. We're going to straighten the front leg moving into a pyramid pose. As much as you can, straighten front leg. You might need to prop your hands up either on blocks or the front shin to help straighten the leg more. So both hands could be on your front shin as a little support. You want to try to keep the hips still facing to the top of your mat. Can you put both hands on your front leg? There you go. That's it. And then breathe deeply. Breathe into that right hamstring. One more breath. All right, release your hands back to the mat, re-bend your front knee. Keep strong in the legs and then reach your arms up to the ceiling, coming back up to our warrior one. And now we'll open up to warrior two by turning the hips to the left side of your mat, opening the arms, and then you might even adjust your back leg so the toes are facing the side of the mat now. The front knee is driving forward deeply. Press the right thigh open and then reach wide through the arms. Breathe deeply here. Just feel the softening into the hips, a nice energy out through the arms, that strength within. Good, one more breath here. And we'll straighten out the front leg, rotate both toes to face forward. Hips are facing the side of the mat as well. Take a deep inhale as you lift your chest. Then exhale, come into a wide forward fold, bringing the hands to touch your mat here. Good, and then pull your chest towards your thigh as any amount. If you can grab the ankles, feel free, or just keep the hands where they're at. Relax your neck here. Continue using the arms to pull your chest towards your thighs. I'm feeling a nice opening to the backs of the legs here. Breathe deeply. Good, one more round of breath. And then feel the strength of your legs again, firming the quads a bit. And as you inhale, stand back up, opening up the arms wide. As you exhale, return to your warrior two, face the toes to the top of the mat, re-bend the front knee, coming back into that deep lunge. Right knee should be bent. <laughs> Sorry, the same way we were before. Yeah, I know I'm doing the opposite. Is that what you did before? No, I think you did. I don't know what you did. <laughs> I think you were the other way maybe, right? 
Okay, arms open wide. Keep the strength of the legs. As you inhale, reverse your warrior, reaching right arm up and back. So the front arm lifts up and back. Lift your front arm up to the ceiling, your front arm, front arm, yep. And then find a nice deep side bend as you reach behind you through that top arm. Keep a bend in the front knee and breathe deeply. Good, one more deep breath here. And then bring both hands all the way back to the top of your mat. Place the hands down, lift your back heel so we're in a nice deep lunge. And then step either, yeah, go ahead and step right to downward facing dog. Both feet to the back of the mat, stretch out through your body. Breathe deeply here. Press your hips back, press your chest back. That's it. We'll switch this out. As you inhale, lift your left leg to the ceiling. And as you exhale, step the left foot forward between the hands. And now again, bring the back foot in as much as you need so you can place your heel on the ground and try to keep the hips facing forward. Now your toes can be on an angle outward as needed. And then once you're stable in your legs, lift up, reach the arms up, lift the chest. Want the back heel on the ground. That's it. And then you'll lift your arms up to the ceiling. And as much as you can, rotate your body to face the top of your mat. Uh, left leg forward, yeah. But you can face the other way if you want, as long as you have your left leg forward. Unless you think you already did that leg. <laughs> okay. Good. And then lift up. And again, try to turn your body so you're facing the top of your mat there, the front of your mat. Try to pull your left hip back and bring the right hip forward. Nice. That's it. Keep a strong action in the back leg. Open the arms wide and bring the hands behind. Interlace your fingers together. And as you inhale, pull the arms back as you lift and open your chest. Then exhale, bend forward into humble warrior, bringing your chest towards your front thigh, working the arms overhead while keeping that back leg nice and strong. Relax your neck at the bottom and just feel your breath keeping you stable here, but also releasing from tension. Deep, steady inhales and exhales here. Nice, one more breath. And then release the arms back down to the mat. We'll slowly straighten the left leg into pyramid. So again, if the hands don't quite meet the ground with straightening the leg, bring both hands to your front shin. That left shin, both hands, and try to keep your body, your chest on top of your left thigh. There you go. Just breathe into that left leg. One more breath here. Then go ahead and release the hands to the mat. Rebend your front knee. We're coming back up to warrior one. So lift the arms and chest straight up. Now we open to warrior two by rotating your body to the face of the side. You're gonna turn those back toes to face the side of your mat. Bend deeply through the front knee and press your thigh open. Stretch out wide through your arms. Feel that energy there. Now just breathe. Feeling the breath in your body, maintaining strength, but also releasing tension. Good, one more breath. Straightening out the front leg again, we'll rotate both toes to face the side of the mat, exactly as you're facing. This time we'll sweep the arms behind the back again and interlace into a bind. And with your inhale, lift your chest, pull the arms away from your spine. And exhale, fold forward. So this will take a little more strength of the legs, bringing the body towards your thighs as the arms move overhead. Relax your neck and jaw when you're at the bottom. And see if you can just allow the arms to gently move overhead, opening chest and shoulders. At the same time, feeling the opening to the legs. Breathe deeply here. <sighs> 
Stay for one more round of breath. All right, using the strength of the legs, lift your body back up and then let the arms open up wide again. Nice. Return to your warrior two, rebending your left knee, directing the left toes to the top of the mat. We're in a nice deep lunge into the hips again. Good. Keeping that top arm lifts up and back, front arm up and back into reverse warrior. Rest your hand on your back leg without too much pressure. Feel that nice stretch into the left side. Breathe deeply here. Nice. Stay here. One more breath. And then we bring both hands back down to the top of the mat into your lunge, picking up that back heel again. And go ahead and step right into your downward facing dog, pressing the hips back, pressing the chest back. Breathe deeply. One more breath here. And then go ahead and drop down onto your hands and knees. And let's come to a seat on the mat. Extend your legs out in front of you. And scoot yourself all the way forward to the top of the mat here. Sitting up nice and tall through your spine. Inhale, reach both arms up. And exhale, move into a forward fold. So if you have, can grab your feet, you can grab. Maybe you grab ankles or shins. You could bend the knees to grab on a little better or use a strap. Really work with your breath here. If you, as you inhale, feeling that you're finding a little more length forward. And then as you exhale, softening into the forward fold. Stay with that deep breath, keeping the neck relaxed, jaw soft. Two more breaths here. One more breath. And then lift your body back up. Once your body's up, let's bend the knees just a little bit so you can place your feet on your mat. Grab underneath your thighs using your arms and lift your chest and spine as tall as you can. Pull the shoulders down the back. Pull the low belly in. So feeling the strength of that low belly into spine. And then reach the arms forward by holding the navel strength to keep lifted through the chest and spine. Stay here and breathe. Keep drawing the low belly in. Can you lift taller through the chest and spine? And then to lower down, you're going to pull the belly in as deeply as you can and start to round the spine, working the lowest part of the spine down first. So curling down onto your back as slowly as you can, scooping the navel, scooping the navel, slowly, 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 all the way onto your back. Nice. Press the arms down on the mat by the sides of your body. Bend both knees deeper, keeping the feet on the ground, bringing the heels closer to your seat. Make sure the knees and toes are pointing straight forward. Your feet are about hip distance apart. I want you to press strong into the heels. Feel a little bit of activation into your glutes. Press strong into both arms and press the shoulders into the mat. And then lift your hips up into a bridge pose. Lifting the hips to as high as your body allows and pressing up to the upper shoulders, feeling that opening into the low back, strength into the legs. You're welcome to keep the arms exactly as they are, or you might wiggle your arms under your body to interlace the fingers into a bind if that feels okay. Feeling a lift of the chest and opening of the shoulders and a nice strength into the legs and spine. And then just breathe deeply here. This is also a nice opening to the heart. Two more breaths. One more breath. And then slowly lower your hips back down to the mat. Then right away, hug your knees into your chest, wrapping the hands either on the tops of the shins or the backs of the thighs, whatever allows you to keep the low back down and the head and shoulders relaxed. And take tiny little rocks side to side. Nothing strained, just a tiny little massage into the low back area. Mm -hmm. 
All right, keeping the knees over the chest, open the arms straight out from the shoulders, pressing the palms into the ground, keeping the spine grounded. And drop your knees to the left and come into a twist here. So knees fall towards the ground as close as you can, and then allow that right shoulder to relax. Let your head turn towards the right shoulder, if that's okay for your neck. Close your eyes and just slow down the breathing again. Nice, long inhale through the nose and exhaling through the nose and feeling that exhale release any tension from the spine, open you up here. Keep that slow breath moving and flowing, feeling the whole body start to calm and relax and unwind. One more breath here. And then slowly bring the knees back up towards the ceiling. And then you'll move to the other side. Knees will fall right this time. Once the knees fall, let the left shoulder soften. If it's okay for your neck, the head could fall towards the left shoulder. And the only thing you need to do here is relax. Just focus on your breath and let the body soften. Tension dissolve. Keep the mind here, focused on your breath and on relaxing. Good, and then gently come out of this twist as well. So knees are back up to the ceiling, pressing the low back into the mat. Move into a happy baby. So for happy baby, you can either grab the knees and then open the knees wide, or you can grab the backs of the thighs to open up. If you can reach the calves or the feet, feel free, but make sure the low back is pressing towards the ground as much as you can and that the head and the shoulders stay relaxed as well. And once you open the knees nice and wide, feel that opening to the hips, inner thighs. If it feels nice, gentle rock side to side. Again, feeling that little release into the low back. Breathe deeply here. And then release, drawing the knees back into the chest. This time, wrap the arms around the knees and bring your forehead up towards your knees. Give yourself a nice tight hug. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, open up to Shavasana, completing this practice here today. Let the legs extend out long, wide and open and relax completely. Let the arms fall away from the sides of the body and the hands rotate up to be in that receptive mudra again. Shoulders relax, a gentle lift of the heart. Let the whole body relax right now, letting go of any tension. As the eyes close, allow the eyelids to soften more and that your focus starts to fall inward, away from the eyes, away from the mind, falling in, moving towards the heart, and then connecting to your breath as it begins to softly move through the body again. And then bring your focus to just flowing with your breath within you. A gentle, peaceful flow, rhythmic flow that keeps the mind engaged. And as the breath flows through your body, just feeling a relaxation and calming to your whole body and being. Allow yourself to stay in this calm, quiet space within. Letting anything that does not serve you dissolve away from your body and just feeling peace and light.
Continue to let the breath slow down your body and mind to relax. Now just slowly begin to deepen your breath, bringing a gentle reawakening back into your body. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Circle out your ankles and your wrists. And gently move your head side to side. And then stretch out into a full body stretch. Reach your arms back, your legs long. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Bend your knees and just roll onto your side. Curl your body into a fetal pose by resting on your bottom arm, curling the knees into the chest. Just feel comfort in this pose. This posture is just allowing you to seal the practice in and maintain this practice as you move off of your mat and into your day, the feeling that you're in right here and now. With your eyes closed, bring yourself up to a seat. And let's press the hands together at the heart and just connecting to our heart space. Sitting up tall through the spine, relax through the shoulders. Together, let's take a deep breath through the nose and sigh the breath out of the mouth. And I'll close our practice creating the sound of OM, creating that vibration within that connects us to all beings and universal vibration and energy. You can join or listen and inhale to prepare. Oh. And then bring your thumbs to meet between the eyes, connecting your heart to your mind, to an elevated state of mind. Let's honor this practice. Let's honor each other. 
As we bow forward, namaste. All right, thanks for joining class.